One of the questions we get all the time is, uh, I've made a divot, what do I do? Do I use the sand and seed that's provided on the cart to, to fill it? Do I replace it? What's the best thing? So I thought we'd take a moment and go out and talk about uh, when to repair and replace and, and how to properly fill it with, the, with seed and sand. So the only problem that I have is that um, I need somebody that can make a divot on command. I think I have just the guy. All right, here at Briar Ridge, we have sand and seed bottles on the carts. Uh, that seed is bent grass. That should only be used on the tees and fairways. Uh, please don't fill any any divots in the rough with that because uh, then we'll have bent grass roughs, and we don't want that. We want bluegrass roughs. So we're here with Mr. Steve Harker this morning. We've chosen Mr. Harker because uh, he's been known. You, you do you take a divot when you play? Occasionally. Okay, occasionally. He's going to fire away and, and we'll see. He nips it a lot and, and we'll see if we can't take a divot here. Oh my, I threw up in my mouth a little bit. So let's check that out and see what we're going to do with that. Alright, so one of the first things we need to consider is the weather conditions and whether a divot is going to survive. So if it's hot, it's dry, uh, and it's a shallow divot, we typically uh, won't suggest re replacing that because the weather conditions will just uh, mean that that's going to wilt, dry up, and turn brown. So uh, let's take a look and see what we got. All right, so you can see we have quite a bit of soil here left, and, and that soil is going to help us hold moisture so we know that we can replace this divot. Personally, I think that's a better surface for someone to play off of, you know, in, instead of them landing in, in a large amount of sand. So we're going to go ahead and replace this. And what I can do, a lot of times if I do have a shallow divot or some edges, I'll just take just the tiniest bit of soil and seed, just around the edges, but I think that's pretty good and that's going to survive. So the question becomes how much do we put in, and we were just talking about this. And if you consider that our fairway turf is, is grown at about 430 thousandths of an inch, just under half an inch we know that the tip of that plant, the soil surface has to be a half inch below that. So a lot of times we see people that, that fill that thing up to the top. And if you do that, when that seed germinates, it's gonna be scalped right off at the top. We need to give this plant a half inch uh, to grow, to protect that crown. So we really just wanna put enough in and smooth it with our foot so that the level of sand is now at the soil surface back below. And here we see this divot is real shallow. You can see that there's still a lot of tissue from old plants. Here's, here's one that's actually growing up. So if I absolutely cover all of this, I've, I've essentially smothered that. And Don Miguel is going to make my video really noisy. So really, you could do nothing, or uh, it's gouged out a little on this one side, and if I really want to, I could just sprinkle just a tiniest bit of, of seed in there, uh, just to give it some, some added potential for germination, and bingo, it's perfect. But we definitely don't want to, we don't want to build that up to the top of the leaves. So I, I'm going to demonstrate what we see a lot, and... And that's probably the most common thing that we see that is, is really just, um, it's, it's actually a, a lot of soil and seed is, is wasted. And then there's no way when the mowers come through, they're going to do that. And, and this has no chance of germinating. We need to, we're actually, if you can think about it, we're, we're going to germinate in that little hole. So we're going to protect all those little bitty plants. So if you have something like that, we just sprinkle a little bit, smooth with our foot, and perfect. And when we smooth with our foot, uh, typically it'll go down to uh, to the level that's that's needed. Mr. Harker, thank you for helping us out this morning. I appreciate it very much. So uh, I hope that answers anybody's questions on divots. And uh, we could talk for hours about divots, <laughs> couldn't we? Thrilling. <laughs>